In this demo, Cresco International will demonstrate how to find an optimal way to increase profits of a factory using data science approach. This sample shows how to find the optimal mix of products to manufacture given production capacities and marketing limitations. Let's look at the example. A manufacturing company uses five different types of machines to process seven different types of metal products. The five machines are a grinder, vertical drill, horizontal drill, borer, and planer. Each product requires the use of certain machine processes for varying lengths of time. For example, for product one, you need 0.5 hours of grinder use, 0.1 hours of vertical drill use, 0.2 hours of horizontal drill use, 0.05 hours of borer use, and zero hours of planer use. Some products are more profitable than others, but these often require greater utilization of the machinery. You know the profit for seven products. There are marketing limits to the products as well. For example, for the month of January, your company cannot sell more than 500 units of product one. You know these marketing limitations for all seven products. The manufacturing company will not be able to sell more of certain products during certain months, even if it can manufacture more. These machines used in some processes will be down for maintenance during certain months. Based on these constraints and existing resources, we want to make a six-month production plan. We know how much it costs to hold products in a storage facility. We also know what is the maximum capacity of a storage facility. Our objective is to maximize the profit, which is defined as a price per unit selling price minus the cost of material. In the final plan, we want to know, to achieve, that maximized profit. How much product should we make how much to sell, and how much inventory to hold. Cresco International uses data science approaches and uses an IBM product called CPLEX to solve this problem. To solve this problem, we need to specify what data we have, what decision we want to know, and what constraints we can get. We already have the data mentioned before. There are three constraints in this model. Certain machines will be down for maintenance and unavailable for processing each month. The inventory last month plus production this month equal to inventory this month plus sold amount this month. The third constraint requires that the amount of product and storage at the beginning of this period is equal to a defined starting amount initial quantity. At the end of the six month period, the amount in storage is equal to a certain amount final quantity. We want to find a solution that maximizes the objective, the profit minus the cost. However, we also want to make sure that the solution does not violate any of these constraints. After we translate business information into the mathematical language in CPLEX and run the model on the CPLEX cloud, CPLEX engine tells us the exact amount of product to make, sell, and hold with the highest profit. The factory planning optimization model can also be applied to many domains as well, such as inventory, production problems in retail, manufacture, supply chain, and so on, allowing organizations to make fast and profitable plans. If you need customized decision optimization model, contact us at Cresco International.